Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian. And for those of you who are new here, I make videos for part-time guardians like me who have other responsibilities and are trying to figure out how to do Destiny in their spare time. Again, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And for subscribers, stay tuned to the end of this video. I have an exciting offer coming up. This video is going to be about a specific build, one I'm calling Way the Ninja. Why am I calling it Way the Ninja? This build is specifically a hunter build that emphasizes speed and elusiveness. Again, kind of like a ninja, and we'll talk about it next. So this is a base build that requires no special Season of the Dawn mods. However, one of the reasons this build is possible right now is because of some of the changes that they made with Season of the Dawn. With Season of the Dawn, Paragon mods are gone. Instead, your class regen reduction is based on specifics around your class. For hunters specifically, your cooldown for your class ability is around your mobility. So again, they're trying to get you into that whole fantasy about being a fast moving character that gets out of trouble or gets itself into trouble, you know, depending on how you look at it. For this build, I'm trying to get my mobility between 90 to 100, and I get most of that through mobility mods and specifically some armor that I've saved up that has high mobility in it to begin with. When you get it between 90 to 100, your class ability recharge rate goes down to about 10 seconds. Again, it's really quick. In addition to that, I add to this build Six Coyote. And what does Six Coyote give you? Six Coyote gives you the ability to do two dodge charges, which is, again, very useful for this build. For this build, I'm going to utilize the Top Tree Night Stalker. Again, because I'm typically not near enemies. There is an earlier version of this video that I made that was similar but not exact, where in PvE, if you were near enemies, you could use um, Bottom Tree, and if you were near enemies, you could dodge and get your get basically become invisible really quickly. Again, because this is mainly focused on PvP, I will not be doing that in this video. So, again, with your dodge, with the Top Tree, basically you become invisible for a period of time. This also gives your Malia back, which in this case is a smoke bomb, that disorients your enemies. So you can kind of see where the power is here. By having the two dodges from Sick Coyote, you can almost stay invisible practically forever. Again, the primary reason is because you have two dodge charges and your cooldown is 10 seconds. And with going invisible, that has a, a period where it wears off. Again, you can kind of see where you can practically stay invisible practically the entire match if you wanted to. Again, obviously you need to shoot things at some point. That's useful too, but it allows you to get out of, out of the way and out of trouble really quickly. Again, this build, because you don't have as much, you don't have the ability and resistance and things like that to take enemy hits, you're going to be vulnerable to enemy fire, so you're going to need to stay mobile the entire time. And again, the extra mobility mods which are allowing you to get your class ability quickly, also allow you to stay really mobile. What I added on to this, for this video, if you look through some of the, the video footage I'm putting up here, I utilized Mita Multi-Tool on top of that to, again, add additional mobility. Honestly, at the beginning, it was kind of hard to deal with because I was kind of hopping all over the place. But again, it adds to kind of that fantasy. Now, if you don't want that, if you don't need that additional mobility, you could use Monte Carlo. One of the things that's useful about Monte Carlo is that with Monte Carlo, when you shoot enemies and you kill them over a period of time, you can actually get your uh, melee back quicker. So that's also something that's useful. But again, I like Mida. I also like that Mida, you keep radar as you're looking down scope. So if you do set up for a minute, like you, you kind of go, you flank an opponent, and you kind of watch on them, you can basically keep your radar uh, up the entire time, so that's useful too. So I think I think it's really useful. One thing I also didn't show in here is that my lantern level is not leveled up all the way, but if you look at further in the uh, in the lantern and some of the mods that can come up, and again, this will only be for Season of the Dawn, there is an item called um, Void Battery. And again, this Void Battery allows you to get an overshield when you activate class abilities and then allows you to regenerate him faster. I'm going to get that mod really quickly because I can't imagine, I had a lot of fun with this in PvP already, I can't imagine going around with an overshield and regenerating the abilities very quickly. So again, this is something I'm continuing to get used to, but you can tell just this was the first time, the video I'm putting up, the first time I was using this, and I had a lot of fun, and I was really able to, to get in and get out of trouble really quickly, and I got a lot of kills in that match. 
Again, really, Bungie is really trying to, with these changes in the season, you can like them or hate them, they're trying to increase the RPG elements of the game. And so with the, with the Hunter specifically, they're trying to get you in the whole fantasy of moving quick. Yeah, you're going to be squishy, but again, the advantage they give you is you're going to be able to move so fast and be able to get your class ability so quickly and allows you to be a lot more aggressive, but also to get out of danger when you are aggressive. So that's the video, folks. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of this build. Again, I'll let some of the gameplay continue to play. Uh, again, I, I really, this is something I really like. I, I when, later on, when I actually get some footage with the Void Battery, I'll probably put up an additional video to kind of talk about that. But as you can see, this is pretty powerful just as it is. So if you are someone who likes to be really quick, likes to flank people, likes to move around the battlefield, this would be a great build for you. And it doesn't really require any specific mods for a Season of Dawn. So again, this is a very easy build to put out there. Just need your mobility mods. And again, guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. I really appreciate you being part of the community. Again, if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you know about new activity going on in the channel. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower. So let's get back to the offer I talked about earlier. First off, I really appreciate all the support. The channel has just grown by leaps and bounds. Really appreciate all the support. One of the things I want to do to kind of give back to the community is when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away a couple of items. My channel, obviously, is the part-time Guardian piece that I do. We also do board games on this channel. Again, it's more of a family channel. So two things I'll be giving away. One is a copy of the board game Relative Insanity. Lots of fun. Again, I'm giving that away for free. The other thing I'll be giving away is a Destiny Tricorn emblem. This is an emblem you actually cannot purchase from Bungie anymore. I happen to have an extra one. Thought I'd give it away from you guys. It also has an emblem code on the back. When we get to 100 subscribers, what I will do is I will post a video with that. And then in that video, whoever comments in that video, we're going to just take a random person from those commenters and you'll get this for free. Again, makes a nice Christmas gift. So again, if you do subscribe to the channel, that's an opportunity. If you have friends who might be interested in this content and might be interested in this giveaway, talk to them, have them subscribe to the channel. Again, once I hit the 100, we'll put this up. And that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support you've given me. If you'd like to see more videos like this, Feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you know about the latest videos coming up. Also, feel free to get in the comments. Give me some information about what you'd like to see next. Love to make additional videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the tower.